welcome to Ask the Doulas. It's Alyssa, and I'm talking with Gabby again. If you remember her last time, she told us her lovely birth stories. Hey, Gabby. Hi, Alyssa. Good to be back. Yeah, I want to learn about your business. So, Connie's Bridal Boutique. Yes. Who's Connie? Because you're not Connie. No, we're not Connie. (laughs) (laughs) Connie's actually the name that the original owner gave the store was her nickname. Her original name was uh, Viet Vu. She's a cute little Vietnamese lady, maybe five feet. Okay. Um, she was a powerhouse of a woman. You just see her just haul, and these dresses get heavy, so you just see her hauling dresses back and forth. Um, so my grandmother used to work with her, and when she just reti- decided to retire, we purchased the brand and the store, okay. and we kind of uh, molded it a little bit more towards our personalities and growth and you know, developed it a little bit further. Okay. So I've been in your store. It's huge. <laughs> like I, it's not little. It's huge. I walked in. I'm like, oh my god, look at all the space. Yes. So tell me, like, what did you change? What's your target market? And what do you have a certain type of dress? Do you kind of focus on one area, or is it a pretty broad range? Yeah. When we originally bought the store, if we're talking, if we're getting down to nitty gritty business, it was. Um, we used to be on 44th and Kalamazoo on Tom Place Plaza. Okay. I think that was her second or third location. Um, and and the target audience when we originally bought it was for brides looking for dresses and formal gowns from 100 to I think it was $800 around there. And we began kind of molding it to a little bit of a higher price range just because that, mm-hmm. that good chunk of 100 to $800 dresses um, – a lot of that is online. Mm-hmm. So it's not really long-term sustainable, um, at least for our, for how we run it, which is, um, it's a lot of sample and special orders. We don't have, you know, you can't go in there and we don't have stock of the same dress in 30 sizes. Okay. Um, we might have a multiple, you know, in a small and a large, but most of it we want to do a custom dress, custom measurements, custom length. Um, we're we specialize in that in customizations, custom additions, and our customer, our clientele is the minority bride. So anybody, um, and that falls in so many categories. It could be quote unquote last minute, so less than six months. Um, we often do weddings like two weeks, one week, oh, and yeah. we have a we can have a quick turnaround time okay. um, because my grandmother is magic <laughs> as far as uh, alter on alterations, um, and and our. Formal bridal gowns are anywhere from six to three to five thousand. So okay. we're we're kind of snug in the middle, mm-hmm. kind of between David's, and then you have the beautiful Renee Austin and Beckers, who mm-hmm. is um, on the higher. They can reach, you know, sky's the limit. And mm-hmm. of course, we can you can you can always add on anywhere. Right. Um, but we're kind of snug in the middle for our minority brides, and whether that be size, whether that is, um, we have some brides that purchase and then they go and get married and they have beautiful African ceremonies in Africa so that's kind of this whole oh, wow. a whole other package because they're buying yeah. for people that you know bridesmaids aren't all here so we we, we serve a lot of that um, of our quote-unquote minority brides that have that um, spunky need I like okay. it, creative needs yeah when I went in it was your grandmother and your mother were yes there, correct and you said sometimes your sister's even there sometimes my sister's there i um, on Saturdays it's me and my sister comes to help um, on and off on Saturdays I kind of finagled my way to um, be like, Grandma, you can take Saturdays off and I'll be here on, on, on Saturday. So now she's there Monday through Friday, which is when our alterations and special, um, more complicated orders, if she needs to kind of see as far as like detailed, if we need to add like a detailed illusion neckline or anything like that, then we'll see them Monday through Friday. And on Saturday, we're just seeing brides and um, in their beginning phases. And if they need basic fittings then I can of course do that I can fit you and pin you but if anyone's cutting your dress it's it's her it's gonna be grandma yeah it's gonna be grandma so we learned last time you have two children how do you balance a three-year-old a six-year-old and helping to run a bridal shop yeah I am I'm extremely lucky in the flexibility that not only working with my grandmother but having um working with my grandmother in our own business close to home so it's kind of like a great little triangle of mm-hmm. um, support. Um, so she definitely wanted to see the grandkids. So when I had my first daughter, and even with my son, um, I think I worked up until like a couple days before I gave birth, if not like the day before. Um, so it was very active. I don't like to just sit down. And uh, when they gave birth, it was strapped them up, literally carried them on and off 
up until they got too big to be carried. Mm -hmm. Um, So that was great. I could bring them in whenever. And if I really couldn't bring them in, um, I didn't have to come into work. And it wasn't like I have to to bring your doctor's note. And then I could work from home or work on off days. So I can can move my schedule around pretty freely. So that's definitely been a great opportunity for me to work, but also raise my kids and be as involved as I need to be or they want me to be. If they want me to go chaperone, you know, it's great during the week because we're not too busy. So I can say, hey, I'm not going to be here until today or until X time I'm going to go in the morning I'm going to be with my daughter or my son all day and then they can come back and work and you know sometimes work means like I'm going to have to work till nine or after they go to sleep I'm going to have to finish that or I'm answering emails in the middle of the night um typical business owner stuff like I feel like I'm doing that all the time you take out a chunk of time during the day to spend with friends or family or your children and you always have to make up for it later. Right, you make That's up like for it later. That's like the pros and cons, right, of exactly. having your own business. Exactly. And I mean, it's definitely been a balance for them as well because we open on Saturdays. So it's mm-hmm. not like we can just do all kinds of fun activities on Saturdays. My friends are like, oh, we're having birthday parties. I'm like, that's great. But I'm <laughs> at work. So we can't really just take that off. It's Sundays and everybody on Sunday has kind of a different schedule. And our industry, our busy times during the summer. Mm-hmm. So our vacations are in the winter. Um, Which is perfect. You want to get out of Michigan we in do. the winter. And so. like, you, okay. want to, you want to go to the beach? I'm like, yes. On Sunday I will. <laughs> on Sunday I will. Um, or Sunday usually ends up being um, try to manage your household mm-hmm. in like half a day. Mm-hmm. Like a crazy person mm-hmm. that you have not been able to do the whole week. So we kind of balance that out. And my friends are like, you never come out. You know, like this not, is not really vacation ever for us unless it's winter. And during winter time there... Um, regular jobs they're still working but we can be like oh we'll take December off um because right. we've been working non-stop until December and we'll just take you know a couple weeks off so it's kind of a balance of like where do you it's good to find other entrepreneurs because they have similar some of them have similar rhythms mm-hmm. where it's like I'm kind of just checking to see if you're breathing for six months and then like you can really hang out with them right. <laughs> during this slow time like just knock on you know text a quick text like hey you are you alive right yeah we're just you know working away it's been good to connect with other entrepreneurs and other i say like busy moms that are kind of doing more yeah, than i think it's important because we are a definitely a specific breed yeah. of business owners and mothers because i might have like this morning i randomly i had time to go for a walk around yeah. the lake yeah. and what did i do i texted a bunch of people but the only one who responded was the other mom who right. owns her own business right it's like oh yeah i can get out for an hour yeah um, so it is good to have that network because otherwise yeah. you do kind of feel isolated thinking all um, these other moms work during the day. Yeah. Um, and then at night, maybe they want to get together, but that's when I actually need to spend time with my kids. Right. right. That's kid time. It's yeah. like my free time could be, oh yeah, I can meet with you, you know, in the morning when the mm-hmm. kids are at school, I can kind of plan that out. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I pick the kids up for school, like I need to make sure that I'm with the kids because mm-hmm. Saturday, Sunday, you know, I think I one day I was working on a, we were putting crystals on a dress. And that was like consecutive days of like working past midnight. Like the kids, I think one day they even came to the shop and they like slept in the sofa for a couple <laughs> hours. And I'm just like, we got to get this done. We got to get this done. So we don't have that, like there are time blocks. So it's um, definitely an, an, an adventure to find people that match your schedules. Mm-hmm. And kind of also interest, you know, kind of the same thing, but match the schedule of like when you can have free time and then understand that like I'm not, maybe I'm, maybe I will be free three Sundays in a row. Maybe you won't see me for five months. Yeah. It's the last, I used to be able to plan ahead. Yeah. And now I'm like, I don't know. Like, can I go for a walk tomorrow? I don't know. Text me tomorrow and I'll see. Like I just, I will know an hour before. Right. (laughs) I think we're doing maybe like a month, a month ahead of time. Like, I mean, in my house, I family events I'm usually like let's bring out the bring out the here's the book of calendars Mm -hmm. everybody just dish out like appointment cards like here's your mother's day event here's this and here's that and now we're just like we don't know what we're gonna do and sometimes you're just overwhelmed you don't do anything yeah to have a weekend of nothing sometimes is totally fine do you want to plan I don't want to plan anything Mm -hmm. you know what sounds good just being home Mm -hmm. and cooking and eating I think it's the other side of owning a business that people don't realize, you know, oh, you have so much free time or, oh, you're, you run your own schedule. But there's this opposite side of it where you do feel, like I said, isolated or 
that nobody quite understands. Right. Um, so I love these mom groups, like how I met you at the right. mom brain group. Like there's always something to talk about because we're all going through this, like have these same right. struggles. They might be a little bit different, but deep right. down, like we're moms and we own our own businesses and we know what it's like to be like, oh yeah, I'm working till midnight tonight and right. I still have to get my kid up. I haven't made lunches for school. <laughs> Um, like there's all these, oh yeah. And it's library day and I don't know where the library book is. Like all these, yes. like 20 little things, all these little details. Um, but you still have a business to run. Right. There's still something else that kind of depending is like too different, which being a mom in itself has so many independent, independent tasks that happen on its, you know, individually. Mm-hmm. Like this is completely un- unrelated tasks that happen mm-hmm. independently. But we're doing them simultaneously. Yes. yes. Often. With two different, it's like you have two different children. One is in your business and then two is like your actual kids um mm-hmm. that are kind of just i need all this stuff and they all of a sudden business might need have an emergency or your kid might have an emergency and you know if you don't um build those connections you might be left you know struggling a little bit well it would be really easy to burn out if you yeah. didn't have like you said the fact that your business uh, you work with your family mm-hmm. and it's super close to home right you have that support network built in right um, if somebody owned a business, had children, didn't have family, didn't have friends, didn't have right. a support network, and had no plan in place for these emergencies, whether right. it was family or business, you burn out. Yeah, you just, I, I would imagine you'd just be, you're just kind of sitting there feeling lonely, <laughs> it would be like lonely. And it's not even like somebody come and help, maybe it's just the pure connection. Mm-hmm. Of like, I just want to talk to somebody, or just a quick text to kind of get your mind out of maybe something serious that's happening okay then you can relax and like read back and focus on your job or your kids or whatever it is like that's so important to be able to have that extra support in a multitude of forms kind of sprinkle all over your life so that you can kind of progress and move through like the really hard complicated times because in the end you love your job that's why you're doing it Mm -hmm. that's why we're crazy still there right like we're still kind of holding on because you you love what you do yeah we kind of um you work with brides who are in this specific zone and we're working with the new moms who are in this specific zone Mm -hmm. and although like the you know many of our clients are probably i'd say the majority of them are married we do have some who are Um, pregnant and then getting married or getting married while pregnant so do you worked with clients who are pregnant and need a dress like you know you say the minority that would be the minority Um, how do you how do you help I think like what if they're do like how do you how does that dress grow with the belly if they're not getting married right away it it definitely depends and we um the first thing for us is to make that bride feel comfortable some brides are just chill they're just loving it they are embracing what is happening. Um, and some brides are nervous in the way of like, this is not how I envisioned it. Mm-hmm. Um, or it was how they envisioned it and they were fine with it, but there's an outside pressure. So we want to make sure that that is kind of relief because once you are in a good, happy, neutral position, you can really see yourself in like a wedding dress calmly, not like I need to cover this or I need to mm-hmm. cover that or, um, if you just want something that fits and that is comfortable and it depends some brides are going to grow right they're going to still be pregnant when they get married so we have to kind of you know talk about that do you are you going to come in the week before for alterations um are we going to hold out until the week before a couple days before alter it then it'll fit and then take it so it might be like a last minute alteration Mm -hmm. um or are we, you know, sometimes they buy it when they're pregnant and then, you know, they'll have baby and then we'll do that. So it kind of, it's almost like a, a bit of a guessing game. Are we going to, are you going to buy it smaller? Are we going to allow for alter, the alteration costs to make it smaller? Um, is it a shape of a dress that can fit both ways? Mm-hmm. Are you going to be comfortable? You know, is it too tight for baby? Like you need to think about that. Can you sit down? Can you stand? Um, because you were a little bit more, we're not as like agile, but I'm clumsy anyway. So that was not a good clumsy pregnant mom that is wobbling through a bridal store was a funny scene, but, um, we kind of allow, we just sit and talk with them and say like, how are you feeling? Some moms have had multiple kids. So they're like, I don't grow or I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to be double the size. Like I'm just Mm -hmm. telling you for now and then I'll be fine. Um, I think I've had, I had one bride. She was so sweet and she was like, I'm going to be this size by the time I get married. And she was, you know, she, she knew like she's had, she had already had children. So she was like, I'm, 
you know, I'm pregnant, I'm going to give birth, and my body's going to go relatively back, you know, to normal Mm -hmm. by the time I'm there. Um, So then we kind of do that and we we allow to that. But it's really ends up being a matter of, like, a last-minute alteration and just understanding that um, we just need mom and baby to be comfortable. um, If you want a nice, snug dress, it might have to be a different fabric versus, like, a, you know, a more, like, stretchier fabric. Mm -hmm. Um, Not because we can't make it fit. I mean, you can cut anything to fit anything, but just because it's a little bit more flexible and movable and not so restricting. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it's just a little bit more of, like, guiding and consulting and everything will be, you're going to look beautiful. Everything's going to come out good. Don't worry about it. So if we have any moms who are thinking about getting married, um, where do they even, where do they find you? So tell us, um, website, phone number, address, like how, what's the best place for people to find you? Yeah, well, we have multiple ways of contacting us. We are on 28th Street, past Burlingame. We are next to Margie's Donuts. So I mean, oh, if you're pregnant, it's always Oh, I was going to mention that. Like, oh, when I came to visit you, I couldn't leave without visiting Margie's yes. on the way out. <laughs> Stop by and, and have a, a yummy snack. Yeah, and we, and we definitely encourage, we have brides that come in with a very like, I'm going to, you know, I'm on a plan. And I'm like, if that is your healthy goal, we're going to support you and mm-hmm. empower you for it. But we don't want you to be like, you need to all of a sudden only eat lettuce for the next six months. We want to make sure that you are, you know, being healthy with mm-hmm. your path. And if this is how, you know, your fiance is seeing you right now, like he proposed to you mm-hmm. right now, he's loving you, he's going to care for you, he's going to embrace you no matter what. And we're going to, dr- we want to dress you how you are, <clears throat> not with a, you know, pre- not with the pressure that you have from somebody else. But yeah, mm-hmm. you can find us next to Margie's Donuts. Go ahead, we support your purchase of donuts, cakes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, custard filled pastries um bring us one on the way back <laughs> if you're coming before um and we are on facebook it's connie's bridal you can find us on instagram and um, you can give us a call at 616-455-5233 and our website is the same which i think in nowadays is like the easiest thing to do you can um, find us at connie's bridal boutique.com cool what about um the lgbtq community have you ever had two moms because yes. we do get calls from yeah of course and and like i said that's our main focus is to make you feel comfortable and empowered in your decision mm-hmm. um if you're wanting a suit if you're wanting two dresses if you want a mini dress um if you want to alter something um we can go ahead and do that and what i mainly see is the hesitation um, but come on in if you need extra time. If and that is for any moms. If you feel like you're gonna need extra time, if you're gonna need extra space, you're gonna need extra quiet, or you're gonna need extra quiet because your your support group is extra loud. Mm-hmm. Um, we like to accommodate for that. But yeah, I mean, two moms. Um, we just want to support and celebrate alongside you. I love it. Yeah. Thank you for you're sharing. Welcome, so yeah, check check her out if you're in the market for a wedding dress. And as always, you can find us at goldcoastdoulas.com, Instagram, Facebook, and you can listen to our podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Thanks for listening.